Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. And I hope you guys understand how happy I am to be finally reviewing the kingdom. This was one of the scents that I, um, you know, I had acquired when I first got into this hobby. I had acquired every scent from Ariane and Evans and the club. Every scent. And the kingdom was out of stock for months. And now that... Um, Peter has completed all of his EU orders and he came back and he's um, he restocked uh, his uh, US um, shop. Um, we finally got our hands on the kingdom and it comes in Kaizen too. Very excited about this folks. So I have not reviewed this soap. I don't know what it smells like. Um, as always, I'm going in blind. Um, so before we get into that again, I want to welcome everybody in to those that are subscribers and those that are um, Have been here before welcome back. Appreciate you guys so much You guys have no idea and you guys know that you guys are simply sexier and better, right? Uh, for those that are new um, Who may be looking at this soap? My name is silky creamy and I do um, shaving product reviews and skincare product reviews uh, I tend to um, do very in-depth uh, reviews of products and the label to the actual products itself. And then we learn about the product via the website of the, uh, the artisan. And um, that way um, we all can get a better understanding of this particular scent. And so um, if you find my content valuable, I encourage you to subscribe and show some support for me. Um, that kind of stuff really gets me going and um, shows to me that um, you guys enjoy this product or uh, enjoy this content. So anyway, without further ado, The Kingdom Kaizen 2. So we'll start with the soap first. Obviously, I'm very excited about this one, guys. So this comes, if you notice... Um, a lot of his King Kaizen 2 um, labels are like Vanille Vendetta and Udiction and Cannabis Santal and um, Vetiver Magnifique. It's a very simple black and white label. It is very straightforward, very clean. It is the name of the soap. Very simple. And then obviously... This is the logo for the club. So this is very straightforward. This is the first time that we have seen Kaizen 2 written out in English. Um, usually he'll have, um, let me get the, so this is usually what you would see. You would see the kanji, which is Japanese, the characters, letters. So that's the word Kaizen. And then you have the number two. So I think when he opened that, he did the same thing. He wrote out Kaizen 2. Kaizen 2 was only available to VIP members on the website. So, um, but he has uh, opened up Kaizen 2 to the public. So with his um, soaps, Peter will have on the side, um, obviously his EU information. He uses one label for um, everything. And then in here you have an Italian, the ingredients and instructions. And I will do here for the English. So his, this is a tallow based soap. Um, there's goat's milk in here, but there's also, um, I want to point out, there's two things that, um, to look for if you, you are like, how do I know what is Kaizen? How do I know what is Kaizen 2? How do I know what is the old goat's milk formula? Um, so if you see marshmallow root, where is it? Here we are, marshmallow root. That means this it's Kaizen. If you see marshmallow root and you see beer, that means it's Kaizen too. So that's a little inside baseball for you folks um, to tip off if you know whether or not it is Kaizen or Kaizen too. 
um, moving forward, I know Peter is going to be making that um, it pretty pronounced like you see here, where it says Kaizen too, so people um, can pretty much know what is what. And then there's a new Kaizen 2E, which we're going to get into um, in a video uh, coming up very shortly uh, for his new base that just came out. So anyway, this has got a host of uh, skincare products. Kaizen 2, in my opinion, is the best base on the market, in my opinion. It checks all the boxes. And it's just unbelievable from from the beginning, from pre-shave to um, density of the lather, um, to the um, the amount of lather, to the post-shave. It is um, the amount of water it can take, the amount of water it can hold. It just is from head to toe the best base out there. Now the Kaizen 2E is a different one, but I won't get into that here. So anyway, this is a the back of the can, the bottom. Let's go ahead and do our first look at the kingdom. So, oh boy, so beautiful. Um, Kaizen 2 is a kind of on the thicker side going in. It's not liquidy like, um, you know, like Barrister or Mana's very thin. Not thin, but very liquidy consistency going in, and then it cures. Kaizen 2 um, usually has ribbons, some cratering. So you see a little bit of cratering here, but usually Kaizen has a lot of ribbons, um, like ribs. This one has a little bit thicker, but this is definitely a beautiful, beautiful pour. Kaizen 2. Kaizen 2 is a little bit on the softer side. Well, this is a little bit more firmer than before. You know, um, we had heard that uh, the new Kaizen 2, he's constantly making changes, right, and adding things. He's firming up his base, uh, firming up the soap a little bit. So that should be able to um, provide more shaves, more lathers. It'll go a longer way than a softer soap. Let's go ahead and do our first smell. Okay, so right off the tub, scent strength is, I would say, about a five or a six. So this is not over the top, like some of his other scents are. But I'm definitely picking up woods and oud. This is a very, um, this is a woody, maybe oudy type scent. So this is going to be a masculine, darker scent. I'm, I can't wait. Let's go ahead and read. So he says, um, The Kingdom, now available in Kaizen 2. Wood, leather, marble, and gold. These luxurious elements of a Persian palace are the inspiration behind the architecture of the kingdom. Precious, sweet oud is carefully extracted from agar wood trees. A carefully guarded resource that grows only in certain parts of Asia. Oud is incredibly expensive and difficult to find. Our oud is a wonderful synthetic oud, which resembles Cambodian oud. I have spent a great deal of time researching and traveling to find the very best available. That being said, this is not an oud forward scent. This is a wonderful woody oriental with warmth and complexity which you would expect from Ariane and Evans. There is that wonderful unmistakable oud note in the background. Pairs exceptionally well with Creed Royal Oud. And the scent notes here, he has woody oriental rich. So the scent notes, the actual scent notes in here are lemon peel, berries, Calabrian bergamot, cedar, galbanum, sandalwood, oud, and musk. That's it, folks. So I did pick up the wood and the oud for sure. Um, the lemon peel, the bergamot, berries, not really. So I think that will come out in the lather. It's a beautiful scent. The kingdom. Let's go ahead and take a look at the aftershave, folks. Again, aftershave is what really matters. 
when it comes to the shave because the aftershave will be overpowering the soap and if there's alcohol it'll undo everything so this is the label of the kingdom skin food 100 milliliters and that's this label there inside we have so aloe juice alcohol rose water yeah okay standard ingredients for his um aftershave okay so let's get this tape off Okay, here we are. That was an extraordinarily long piece of tape. <laughs> but I would rather have more than less. Let's go ahead and open this up and smell this, folks. Wow. Okay, so this... This is such a beautiful scent. It's so nice. He does this. He just, I don't know. He just has an incredible, him and Douglas are so good at the sense and making just beautiful, beautiful characters. Um, and just like, you know, scent cords. So this has the wood, it has the oud, but it also has, um, I'm picking more of the bergamot now. It's a beautiful blend. It just makes me think Oriental. It just has a beautiful Oriental scent beautiful wow there you have it folks the kingdom in kaizen 2 from ariana nevins shavingshopclub.com as always i appreciate you folks being here today i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys have a great understanding about the kingdom and um so a very beautiful woody with oud um scent um definitely complex and, and on the dark the darker side definitely an evening scent um as always i appreciate you and take care of one another out there and make somebody smile tomorrow or at least shoot somebody a smile tomorrow whether or not they smile back or not smile at them okay as always take care hope you enjoyed